It's one thing to say, hey, I'm going to have this car ready for you when we get here. We'll get a coffee for you. The name will be in the car. I'll be parked up front. It's one thing to say it, but to actually physically show it, it's right. like, well, shit, okay, I, well, yeah, I guess I better... I guess know, I got to go some, see it now, right? Well, they put some effort behind this, you know? It's like, and, and people do, you know? It's, it's like it's physically showing something versus saying it's an entirely different thing. Entirely. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Strategy with Jason, your mobile automotive podcast. Today, we're talking with Sean Weaver of Car Film. We'll be chatting about how to create quality content with the tools you already have how to capitalize on video in your marketing campaigns, and the benefits of making video at the dealership part of the culture. And now, your host, Jason Harris. Hey, uh, what's going on, guys? It's Jason Harris here with uh, Digital Dealership Solutions. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Strategy with Jason. Today, guys, we're in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Rockstar Automotive Conference. And I have a guest here, Sean Weaver, co-founder of Car Films. Films? Car Film. Car Film. Yep. Yes. Um, which I, I got a demo of recently, and uh, I think it's just a really cool video product. I think there's a lot of there's, there are a lot of video products out there, but you got right. some pretty neat features. Um, so you know what? Just so we have a little context, the people that are listening are going to be watching to this. If you can just kind of give me that origin story, kind of how you got into the industry and how you kind of got where you are right now, that'd yeah, be great. Sure, of course, Jason, and, and thank you again, you know, for having me. And, and I was jumping in this and those kind words about the product too. <laughs> um, my experience in the whole automotive industry started actually just as a, a summer internship. I was just going to be coming in to kind of learn the ropes and, and see what the business was like, and uh, ended up falling in love with it through that one summer, and then came back the next summer and was paired with a. Uh, person within the corporate team at the group that I was at. And after that summer working with him, by the end of it, they had asked me to stay on board as director of e-commerce and business development. So I stuck with the group and we were up in Cleveland. We had about, we were at 22 or 23 stores at the time. Wow. And I stayed in that role for the next couple of years until we started to lean the group down a little bit. The owner was heading to a different direction, getting more focused on technology. And that's kind of where some of the introduction of the car film and focusing in on these more technology and uh, you know, kind of the future of where the transaction's going, that was kind of the catalyst for wanting to explore some of that. Well, that must have been one hell of an internship. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you must, have, just, you must yeah. have crushed that freaking internship. I suppose, right? <laughs> they must have saw something. They must have saw something. Well, mm-hmm. well, that's cool. So, you know what? Let's just dive right into the product. Sure. You know? Uh, like I said, there are a lot of systems out there, um, but again, we've talked about this off camera. Systems only as good as how well you actually use it. Right, of course. You know, it's just a tool like anything else. What, what kind of makes you a little different than some of the other products out there right now? Yeah, so we really focus on you know beyond just being able to send a video. We want to also be able to push the sale or the transaction or just that interaction with the customer to the next step. Mm-hmm. So we built our whole tool around being able to put not just a video and send that that content to a customer, but be able to put any kind of actionable next step behind the video too. So if you can imagine kind of like a picture in picture, which you might see it on TVs, it's kind of gone away recently. You might see it more so on YouTube now. They have that ability to kind of hide the the video to the corner and keep browsing. We use that same kind of technology to be able to put this hyper-personalized video that the dealership personnel created. We can have that video, but then put behind it, you know, a, a lease worksheet or a service RO or the dealership's website or on like an after sales perspective, you can put a dealer rater page to ask for a review. Mm-hmm. So you're not only expanding that relationship and building like a personal touch, but you're also prompting them with some next actionable stuff. And I actually thought that's what was pretty cool when I saw the demo. You know, because at the end of the day, right, we're, we're sending them a video, you right. know, and I mean, look guys, you just gotta hit the red button. You just, you get started, okay? You know, we, we were talking a little bit about baseball earlier and it's just, it, it's those efforts, it's that constant practice to it and you're gonna get better, of right? Of course. Um, but what I thought was really cool is that we have the attention, we've created the attention, but then a lot of times, what do we do with the attention? Right. It's, it's that next step. Right. You know, it's, so, so it's asking for that next step of engagement. Now, I'm sure you probably have some amazing stats on different types of engagements. What have you even seen that's been working? In terms of like different kind of content and yeah. what generates engagement? Um, you know, always one of the first things we recommend when we work with new partners, just to kind of break that ice, like you mentioned about, you know, getting on video and you only get better with time and repetition. Mm-hmm. We like to typically start with, you know, recommendations like following up with sold customers already. These are people you already broke the ice with. You've met them. You're, it's easier to, you know, jump in front of a camera and talk to them again. So we'd have people start with, you know, sending thank you videos and, and asking for a review and putting that actionable step behind it. That's so cool. That gets them more comfortable. Then, you know, you can move beyond that into following up on leads and doing sales follow-up walk-arounds and, you know, introducing products and then, of course, still on the after-sales front, you know, keeping that relationship, maintaining it beyond just that transaction. So being able to follow up and send little tutorials on things in the car, Mm -hmm. 
so it's more so, you know, even beyond just converting at the one singular moment, it's about building that relationship and using a tool that lets you really put a face to something instead of just an email or text. That's so cool. Now, I, I'm sure you've had the opportunity to watch a lot of video. Oh, yeah. Trust like me. A, a lot, lot. And of video. I, and on the front, you know, <laughs> I've seen plenty of video and I've also read plenty of text and email templates out of dealerships too. You know? And when you compare the two, it's mind-boggling to think why why would people still be you know following those template processes? No, I, I agree. I mean, honestly, guys, if you're out there, and really, we're, you know, for the salespeople out there and the, for the managers that are watching this, right? Uh, for the salesperson, guys, if you're not responding to your customers, you're not communicating or engaging with them in a in, in the form of video, you're kind of half-assing your entire sales process. Right, you're missing a big component. Like a huge component of it, mm -hmm. right? Now, like I said, you've had an opportunity to consume a lot of video. Yes. So for, you know, for the sales people out there that are listening to this right now, what would be maybe uh, three pieces of advice or maybe pointers that you would like to give to them You know, what makes a good engaging video? Sure, the first one would be just get started, just start <laughs> doing it. You know, That's always like the biggest motivators. You just have to get in front of the camera and start doing it. But then beyond that, it, it's um, you know keeping in mind that impersonal is, you know, personal, being mm -hmm. able to be imperfect and show your character, or your personality through a video. It doesn't have to be, you know, we're not shooting a feature film here. Yeah, we don't have a full. script. We don't have no, a storyboard no here. You know, show yeah. your personality, <laughs> build a relationship. And then just from a perspective, you know, kind of the third point, try to maintain some level of, you know, shooting in the right direction, shooting horizontally, <laughs> keeping the car in frame, you know, building our quality video still around it, but still showing your personality. So w I'm just, would you recommend them to use more like a selfie stick or a tripod? You know, I typically find that you, you get the best kind of result just from breaking out your phone and think almost yeah. like how you would FaceTime someone or, or Snapchat someone or the kind of content that's Because it's closer, it's closer, it's, it's closer, it's more, it's more personal. More personal exactly. That makes sense, that makes sense. And, and I like, to your point, you know, it's about authenticity. Right, exactly. Right? That's like, the biggest thing is that you're able to put a face to a, you know, a name and show some authenticity through it. 100%. I mean, if you feel like you're being forced to do it, that's going to come out in the content. Always, always, yeah. So when we work with stores, we always find definitely the best results when, when it's a whole team collaboratively wanting to get behind video. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's just a manager pushing it down and, and forcing to create video, that, that's not always going to generate the best content, and, it, and sometimes it shows even. So when you can get a whole team really behind it, and it takes somewhat of a process change, but when you have a tool as simple as Carfum that makes it easy, it, it's, uh, it really can be game changing to get a whole store on board like that. Well, it can because it elevates, you know, it elevates the entire brand message, right? You know, Definitely. through authentic content, the consumer gets to get, get an idea of, of what the brand is about. You know, I mean, right. look, is the person happy to be selling cars? You know, are they are they annoyed that they that they that their manager just made and forced them to actually do this? Right, and I think an important important point on that kind of front is you got to think about the consumer shoot too. If they were just looking for a, a standard video on that car, they can go to YouTube and find a, you know, a 20 minute extensive overview on that car. Ah, but that's a good point, video yes. more so to build a relationship or to build you know, that, that connection from the dealership. So, so making the video personable, Personal, all right? Yep. You know, don't just go regurgitate the uh, whatever the brochure says. Exactly, yeah. So look at, you know, let's say it was on a lead response, look at the lead, find their name, see what questions, what their pain points might be or what they're interested in, and then address those in the video. Don't just, you know, necessarily follow the standard window sticker or feature, 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 because that, that could be found anywhere. Yeah, craft craft the video, make it a personal, let it, let it come from your voice, place of authenticity. Don't regurgitate the brochure. You know, and at the end of the day, just just do it. Just get into it. Look, the right. first time the you do day, it, it's going to suck. Be yourself and, and yeah. get into it. Right. You, exactly. You, you got, it's going to be through practice and through repetition. Do we ever get any better at that? Right. I think it's some great advice for salespeople out there. Now let's talk about managers. Sure. Right. Because you know, there's a certain stigma with managers and, and the age group in which they fall in, and the the lack of understanding. I don't know. Do you find that it's a lack of understanding, a lack of knowledge? Um, or, or fear behind technology? Is that why they're not embracing it? In general or on video specifically? I say video specifically, like, like some embrace it and some are just all in it. And then there are some that just don't. Right, I think as an industry, video has definitely been coming around in the last, you know, we've, know, we've seen it and known it in the marketing perspective for a long time, yeah. you know, getting video and commercials and getting content online in that perspective, you know, from a mass marketing, but the new kind of front of personalized videos and and using it as a communication tool, that is a little bit of a newer newer thing, and it's definitely um, 
you know, when you deal with maybe an older audience, it could be somewhat of a gap to, to get there. Mm -hmm. But when you look at, you know, a younger audience where this is the new norm, is that you're sending a video or a picture or, uh, or FaceTiming in some way, then you're able to kind of convert, you know, and think with that mindset. But from a, from a manager perspective, I think, you know, ultimately, if they're thinking, you know, process-wise and looking for, you know, what tools are really best out there, I don't know how they could pass on video. Yeah, and that's the key, right? I think what it is is that you can't let the tool define what the process is. You got to define what the process looks like, and then work backwards towards the technology and let the technology support the process. Exactly, because the technology again, it's just a tool. It's the same as the the wrench that the technician has back in service. If he just puts it on a shelf and leaves it there, <laughs> it's not going to make you any money. But if you build a process around it and they know some instructions or a, a method to use it then that changes it all. That, that's actually a really, really good point. And I think that's actually a great way that managers should be looking at video, right? Um, the, the value of a wrench in my hands is not nearly as valuable as a wrench in a technician's hands. And right. you know, this, this device, all right, in the hands of a salesperson when it, in communications to a potential customer can be huge. Oh, humongous, yeah. And that, that's the big thing too, is you got to remember, you know, if you're looking at it from a manager's perspective, you're looking at your dealership, your biggest revenue producing asset on the, the sales front is gonna be the salespeople. So yeah. why not put them and get them live in front of a customer, you know? Why yeah. why have to why would you want to wait necessarily for them to come into the showroom for that first face to face interaction to happen? So that's where video can break some of that ice. So from a let, let's talk real quick for managers, I wanna keep that going on the manager sure. side. Um, value. You know, you know, what does it mean to say, okay, Jason, all right, fine, another process. You want me to add another process to my sales process, well, Not right? another process. You know, I want to integrate it into, hopefully they have it's an true, existing but, you know, one. In Some the back of their head, don't. that's what they're thinking, right? right like, oh, right. crap, here's another tool. Another here's tool. another process I'm going to have to add to it. But you know what? Let's break down what the value really is to them. And I'm sure you got great stats on this. You know, what? how much increased engagement have you been seeing? Oh, we see huge increases on email open rates. You know, we've uh, done yeah. studies where we've, Install different templates into CRMs to then track what you know specifically on a video template compared to a standard kind of text template. Mm -hmm. We've seen numbers anywhere from you know 60 to 70 percent increases in open Holy rates. Holy crap! Our latest store had a 300 percent increase in click click rate on their emails specifically with video. Yeah. So that you know you could be just sending a standard email with you know basic paragraph or whatever mm -hmm. information you might be trying to convey, and that's the end of the conversation. But on our, you know, if you were to send a video through that email, now they're clicking through, they're going to that next step, they're seeing something, and they have that underlaid content to really move them to the next step. Well, there's now uh, tremendous more value to open it, right? You right. Know, one of the biggest complaints you get from a lot of managers is, it's like, you know, Jason, I get all these freaking leads, you know, but it's like I'm constantly sending emails, but then no one is actually yeah, ever not engaging, back, right. and then we don't ever hear back from them. It's like followed up the guy 14 times, all right? And you know, they never got, they never got back to me. But your, your system measures the engagement mm -hmm. of those conversations. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, so we've measured it through you know, the open rates and click-through rates. Yep. But then beyond that, now we're able to also track, you know, if you were to put a video into that text message that you sent or the email, mm -hmm. now we can track the amount of views, when it's watched, where it's watched from, and really get a little deeper into the engagement on that front. And all that information is relayed right back to the salesperson. So they can really stay on top of the customer. You get instant push notifications you know, the minute the video gets viewed the first time. It's definitely a great time to follow up, yeah. you know, if they just watch the video. So both the salesperson and the manager gets a push notification that yep. someone has engaged with the communication. Exactly, exactly. That's then, huge. Oh, yeah, and that, that, that in itself can be a game changer, right? Exactly. Because we, we know when to call them, mm -hmm. you know. You don't want to be creepy about it and we call don't them. Creepy. And yeah, be okay, like, that's I saw true. you just watch my video, but. Yeah, so how was the know, video? 20 <laughs> minutes later, you give them a ring and it's still going to be definitely, you know, in the front of their mind if they had just watched it. That's awesome. So I mean, look, huge increase in open rates. I mean, that is huge. I mean, oh, you know, yeah, tremendous. Typical I mean, open just open adding rates video is, into the subject line. Yeah. Well, because well, I was going to ask, is is that, as you seen best practice as far as subject lines going out there? Oh, is it, yeah. You say like, here's your video, or what do you? I mean, going as far as even you know, use the person's first name and say like, here's Jason. You know, Jason, here's your personalized video on the Audi you inquired on, or something to that too. But yeah. Those really show some of the best returns when you add in those personalized things, but then also putting in video, putting that there's something beyond just a standard email. And you put, you put it in the subject yourself. like that makes sense. It makes so much sense, right? Yeah, because if you think, you know, as the consumer, they, they may have just sent out five leads to five different stores and they just got five emails back that yep. say, you know, Jason, take a look at the new Audi or take a look at this Mercedes, take a look and they might click through all five and they'll get to the one with the video. And you know, if you had just read four other standardized templates and now you see a video, of course that if I put myself in the consumer's shoe, I would like to think that would be the the one I would see the most action from or the most creativity out of and want to see and, and view consume that content. But then beyond that, it also gives you this appreciation that the salesperson went out of their way to 
create something more personalized than just sending a standard email. You know, it's funny that it's actually it's perceived value, right? Right. I mean, I, ironically, if you were to sit there and actually craft and type out a well done email, it actually take you longer. Than creating, than, oh, than creating a video. Yeah, yeah, and you'll have carpal tunnel eventually. I mean, you would. I mean, yeah. really, if you really manually kind of wrote all this out, right, it would actually take longer. So, 100%. I, you know, I guess what it is is the consumer's perception of black and white text versus, you know, the perception of the time and effort it, it takes to create a video is actually considerably higher. Uh, the consumers, yeah. Yeah, and to the consumer. But from the, the user side, the you actual can create time. a video, you know, our, our top people have, you know, they get a lead in and they have a, a two to three minute video sent out to the customer within 10 minutes of that lead hitting their CRM. So from a process, it can be quick. It and, can and definitely be quick, but it's perceived as a much higher value. And, and to your point, yeah, that perceived higher value, the customer, I mean, look, you, your message or your price point could have been the same as the other five dealerships. Oh, like it could even be higher. It could even be higher, 100%. Could even, could even be higher but the perceived value to that consumer that you took this time to craft out a personal video is just so much. Entirely, so much I mean, we see it, um, another kind of great use case for video is on, uh, if you're looking to increase your appointment show rate. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so take it from the perspective of, you know, you set this appointment with the client, now you're getting the car prepped. We have one store that they do it really, really well. They will shoot a video. The salesperson will go jump in the car and run it through the car wash, and they'll shoot a video in the car wash, showing them, you know, washing the car and getting it ready for the appointment. So now you're setting, hey, I, I went out of my way to get this car ready and prepped for you, and you know, parked it up front with your name on it, and you show that all within the video. Send that to the customer, you know, a couple hours before the appointment. Assuming they watch it, now they've seen that and they've seen the effort you've put in to get ready for them, to, you know, come up and take a look at this car. You know, it, it increases that value and that perception on their point that now they feel obligated to you know come and see it. Well, yeah, because we actually you know it, it's different than saying it. It's one thing to say; it's a whole other thing to actually show. It, exactly. Right. It, it's it's one thing to say, "Hey, I'm going to have this car ready for you when we get here. We'll get a coffee for you. The name will be in the car. I'll be parked up front." It's one thing to say it, but to actually physically show it, it's right. like. Well, shit. Okay. I, well, yeah. I guess I better. I guess yeah, I gotta go some, see it now, right? Well, they put some effort behind this, you know. It's like, and, and people do, you know. It's, it's like it's physically showing something versus saying it's an entirely different thing. Entirely. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so my last question for you. Sure. Um, campaigns. It's kind of different concepts, right? Definitely. You know, what are you seeing? Maybe be the top three, you know, best campaigns or best kind of buckets or usage of the system that you've seen up to date. And when you're saying campaigns, you're talking like marketing campaigns. Like well, it could be marketing campaigns, but it could be even like, you know, unsold traffic, you know, like putting that into a process. What does that video look like? You know, right. uh, maybe customers that were just in for service and left, you know, where do you see it? Where, where are you seeing that kind of play out? Yeah, and a lot of those kind of perspectives, I, I find that, um, that having the managers involved in those videos, yeah. usually, turns out a, a little bit of a higher return on them because in a lot of cases you end up almost having to make generic versions of those videos if you're going to be doing some type of widespread distribution of it or automated you know sending to unsold customers or, or service follow-up so getting a manager involved in you know some authority figure within the dealership to also reinforce the relationship beyond the salesperson who assuming they've been using video through yep. the whole process has already built that relationship it really helps to reinforce it. Um, we've seen really good returns on you know unsold customers, a, a GM following up the next day through video, uh, from the service perspective, selling unsold work, you know, oh, yeah, a, a good video one. at yep. the time it works, was yeah. found, but then keeping that video stored and then following up, you know, maybe a month or two later, mm -hmm. referring back to that video and having that content to really you know again create the, the visual to it. And I think that's a great idea. I mean, if you get, getting your managers involved in some of those videos, you know, maybe just even after they left and thanking them for the time. Oh, 100%. You know, it, it just shows the culture of the dealership, you know, that you know, everyone is vested in the interest of doing business with you. This is not just one person trying to do business with you. This is an entire company trying right. to do business with you. And they're not trying to necessarily do business in terms of, you know, creating a transaction. Instead, they're trying to build that relationship. Build that relationship. I think that's really key. Right. You know, um, Sean, thank you so much of for course. taking the time and jamming with me. I think there's some great value here, and hopefully you guys got some great value of this. Hey, anybody that would like to learn more about what you do, what is the best way to connect with you? Yeah, definitely uh, LinkedIn. We're always on there. Or our website, www.carfilmapp.com. You know, easy way to contact us or take a look at some example videos or schedule a demo anytime. Um, myself, I'm always reachable either via LinkedIn or Marnie. Arnie McLennan, she heads up. She's over here <laughs> off site to the corner. A lot of people know her through she the She gave industry. a great demo, by the way. Oh, yeah, definitely, <laughs> always. Awesome. Hey, thanks, Sean. Really appreciate the time, man. Yeah, definitely.